Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So in today's video, I will be reviewing a paint by numbers kit by Crafties. They were kind enough to send this kit to me to try out and review for you guys. So the kit comes in this cardboard box. It comes with a bunch of uh, paint pots, color guide, uh, some numbers you can stick on the paint pots so, so you know which numbers go where. A nice little thank you card from Crafties. Uh, a set of four brushes, which are, are wooden. And also a paint pot holder made out of cardboard so you can keep your paints organized. And a linen canvas, which is um, in this case a llama illustration I chose. I really like the illustration. The illustration is from Ali Goulet. Uh, I will uh, leave a link to the artist below. The way this works is you just fill in the areas with the number of the paint and yeah, you just kind of have to fill in everything like you would a coloring book. Crafties also do uh, diamond painting kits and the, this particular kit I got is a rolled canvas kit but they also have the option of the framed canvas kit which comes with a cardboard box which you can turn into an easel. So I started off by sorting out the colors and numbering them so I know which color goes where on the canvas. This was a pretty time consuming process but you do have the color reference sheet and it's pretty easy to do. I really love the colors uh, they sent. I'm not sure if they are acrylic colors or what type of colors they are, but they were really good and really opaque for the most part. The kit also comes with uh, two pots which have brightener in them. I didn't use this particular thing because I didn't know how to use it, but I think if you just want to make the colors more bright, then you can add in uh, this color brightener. So as I mentioned, Crafties has paint by numbers kits, diamond painting kits, and you can also make a custom made kit with an image you have. So I think it's pretty cool, uh, especially for beginners. If you're not very good at painting, this would be a pretty fun project to do. It is, however, pretty time consuming for me. It took about two days to complete the painting. It is a pretty large painting, a 50 by 40 centimeters painting, but overall it was a really fun experience and a really relaxing one. <laughs> I didn't have to think too much about the composition or anything like that. I just had to paint away and I listened to some music and it was really relaxing, which I think is the point of these kids. Another thing which I find really cool is that if you do purchase a kit, you support an artist with each purchase you make and they have loads of themes. You can sort uh, the type of painting you want by style, by theme, by difficulty level, by color and also by orientation. And of course I wanted something with <laughs> an animal so I thought this traveling llama kit would be perfect. And I also think it's uh, it looks really cool and I will frame it eventually. So as you can see I started by painting with the color number one and then I realized I didn't have the right approach and I started from the bottom which was not the best idea. I recommend you start from the top and go down just so you don't smudge the colors. The colors are really opaque uh, for the most part. Some of the colors like the pinks and the creams are not as opaque and you can still kind of see the number p poking through in some areas but you can just layer up the colors and it would be fine so i think this kit is really cool the paint brushes were very nice uh, one of them did come damaged uh, it had a bit of glue stuck to it the others were really okay and uh, really good quality it's what i use for the most part i did use some of my brushes for some areas, especially the larger areas on top. As I said, the paints are really good quality and I was afraid that I would run out of paint, but some paints come with uh, two pots of the same color, so you definitely won't run out of paint. And I have uh, a lot left even after finishing the painting. So if you are interested in purchasing this kit or trying out a diamond kit, I will have a discount for you guys in the description box. Just follow the link in the description box and yeah, you will get a discount on your purchase. 
as I mentioned, this was a really fun experience, a really relaxing one. It's good for beginners and uh, advanced people. I will say that some areas, especially in the middle, have a lot of different colors that you have to add. And uh, towards the end, I kind of skipped some of these areas and went rogue uh, just because <laughs> I was running a bit out of patience <laughs> and it was just easier to fill in larger areas of color. But if you do have the patience to fill in every little area, then I think this would be a really fun project to do. So thank you Crafties for sending this over. I will leave a link to this particular painting kit and to their website and to the discount code. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Please watch until the end to see the finished painting. I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.